day two of the Electric Ireland FIH Road to London and hosts Ireland made it two wins out of two with a comfortable victory over Ukraine at Belfield. The underdogs kept Ireland at bay for 15 minutes. But the breakthrough arrived when listener Garvey's Timmy Cockrum deflected Paul Gleghorn's pass beyond keeper Hordai. Ireland's first short corner in the 21st minute led to goal number two, with Eugene McGee of Banbridge blasting home the rebound. And McGee was again on target from a well-worked set piece as Ireland stretched their advantage to three. Cockrum grabbed his second and Ireland's fourth after good work by John German before Dubliner Mitch Darling rounded off an impressive first-half performance from the home side with Ireland's fifth goal just before the break. Ireland began the second half as they had finished the first, with John Jackson crossing from the byline to tee up Darling for his second. And a fine solo effort from Belfast Peter Carruth made it 7-0. There was no let-up from Ireland in the final quarter. Chris Cargo set up Michael Watt and the 24-year-old, based in Spain, finished superbly. Watt grabbed his second with another fine finish. Before Cochran brought Ireland's tally to double figures, completing his hat-trick with a great solo effort. Ireland weren't finished yet, however. Cargo got on the score sheet with just two minutes remaining, and German made it a round dozen right at the death. Man of the match, Cockrum, was delighted with Ireland's performance. Ukraine are a good side, so we had to work really hard, um, and we had to keep going. I mean, for the whole 70 minutes. So I'm just pleased that we could do that today. It was really good. Peter Carruth says Ireland will go into their key next game with Korea in confident mood. The confidence will be very high. It's always, it's always high with this team where uh, we, we know each other inside out now and we, we know how to pick each other up and we know how to work with each other, so confidence is always high. We'll just take it like any other game that we've played before. We know they're uh, a very good side, as I said, the sixth in the world, but again, hopefully there's a big crowd down and hopefully that will spur us on once again and hopefully we can do, turn out and do the business again. Meanwhile, in the opening game of the second day's action, Malaysia also made it two wins out of two as they recovered from 2-0 down to beat Russia 6-2.